Hello, it's Scott Manley here, and today we are looking at something from Snapshot Games. It's a game called Phoenix Point. So, Phoenix Point is a you know, turn-based tactical you know, ground combat game, and, well, Snapshot Games is basically Julian Gollop's company. It's operating out of Bulgaria, and Julian Gollop is kind of the father of these games. Right back to the early 80s, he did things like Rebel Star and Laser Squad, and he did the original XCOM. So as the father of the genre, obviously a great many things have been expected of him. So this very early demo shows just one mission, or an example of a mission. Now, uh, yep. Radieva, Stoller, Richter. I won't mince words. You're all infected, and this is your last chance to do something good for your species. The Haven is lost, but we can still save the population and our work. I need you to help us make that happen. Re-enter Fort Freyheit, activate the long-range beacon, take the guard tower, and then hold them off for as long as you can. This is a one-way mission. You know what you're in for. Soldiers do the hard yards so other people get to live in the light. Now, make me proud. Make me proud. So yeah, uh, one of the things you'll notice right away is that if you don't like the targeting that it gives you, you can just drag the targeting cursor around and then fire your weapon. This is a, some interesting advantages because sometimes you'll end up, it'll tell you that you can't actually hit the target. For example, I'll move this guy here, right? And it doesn't actually give me a target for him. If I click that, it, this guy is greyed out, but I can just drag the target reticule over until I find this target. You see he's sort of hiding behind this, but I can actually pull a, a line of sight on him, so let's try shooting him from there with my sniper. No joy! Let's go to the next one. Okay, we have him there, and we have this target. So actually, let's use the heavy, t in typical heavy style, and have him shoot the cover that that target is hiding behind. Again, I can't really aim at the target precisely, but I can aim at this, and that should damage some of the stuff behind it, uh, that it's hiding behind. So uh, the game is obviously promising destructible environments. It's uh, promising this you know, very detailed targeting if you want it. Uh, it is also promising aliens that are pretty much made of lots of other little bits. The story is that the aliens are basically created from a virus that infects humans and converts them, and that's what you end up facing. So they evolve into various types, and the types have interchangeable you know, arms and legs and everything. So this guy, yeah, he has just deployed the shield, which means he is kind of immune to damage. So let's move this guy up while he can. I can move him up to there, I guess. And I'm going to put him on Overwatch so he actually gets to shoot at people that are moving. Overwatch costs willpower, right? The, all these abilities now are... There, you know, you have a limited amount of use of them. Another big departure from the modern XCOM is the fact that you have action points again. So you have, instead of having two actions per turn, you have much more fine-grained management. And we have another hostile. So right now, he's not armoured, so this is a good time to take a shot at him. Let's see how we do it. Yep, um, did we hit him? I don't know. Now, there's a, an ability here that you can call to get extra action points if you need them not going to do that just yet. I'm just going to leave him... Uh, I'm going to move him up. So you can obviously move to yellow and that means you can't move your current weapon, but you, you can actually switch out different weapon types. The heavy has missiles and he also has the ability to uh, fly using jump jets, which is kind of nice. Oh look, this guy can get... This guy could go here and there might be a chance that he can actually shoot this target. So let's see. Again. Oh, just, just visible and no more. I'm gonna take this shot, because you never know. Ah, oh, there, we got a hit on the target. Excellent. Okay, so let's end his turn. And I'm gonna end his turn as well. Okay. Now the hostiles get to move, make their move on us. Ah, oh, look, he went for it. And the sniper shot him. Let's see if the other one comes up. So these ones, you have a lot of armor when they deploy their shields. So you want to get them in the middle of a move, or you want to drop a grenade on them so that they don't, they aren't able to, um, so that their armor is essentially useless. So that's what I'm going to do here. The good old grenade attack. 
So let's turn the camera around and see if I can hit them both. There we go. Brilliant. Throw the grenade. Hit them both. And one of them was injured already. This guy can actually take that shot. He's got a pretty good chance of hitting here. Yes! Excellent. So let us move fast towards our objectives. This guy, I'm going to move here. Uh, it's also worth mentioning, by the way, that this is implemented in Unity. Even though it looks a lot like XCOM, XCOM is written in uh, Unreal Engine. So, uh, yeah, interesting that they've managed to get this kind of aesthetic with a different engine moved. Alien doing their stuff. Uh, aliens, but they are aliens made of human bits and pieces. Like, that's why if you look at them up close, they will have human heads. Uh-oh. My assault troopers automatically get, like, Overwatch responses when they get fired at. It's not the same as an Overwatch. An Overwatch will fire when they see aliens move. Like, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna move them right up into position. No hostiles sighted so far. Oh, wait, there it shows up above. Two hostiles in the control room area. Oh no! <laughs> you see how fast that happens, huh? There's a lot of reaction fire in this. Oh, there's something running over there. It's like they're moving out of the corner of my eyes. God, this is brutal. Everybody's getting damaged. In XCOM, you know, if you do well, you can sometimes get through a mission and with very careful planning and not get hit, but it just seems that there's continuous attrition going on here. Oh, look, this guy really has jump capability. Let's put him right up there. Yeah! Flying well over all, all the enemies. Confirming hostile. Oh, shit. There's a big one coming. Get ready. Oh, where? Big one coming. <laughs> I guess that's uh, that's me in the control room technically because I've jumped on its roof. I can see the TVs. Oh no, the the ladder is destroyed. I can't get up. No. I guess I'm gonna need to put the heavy over there. That is unfortunate. Who's he seeing there? Oh yeah, we'll shoot that. Take one of these guys out. Excellent. Notice they have like biological weapons. It's pretty cool there. We're trading fire all the way across the map. Yeah, the game is spending a lot of time pausing. I'm presuming it's moving aliens that I can't see. We've got an alien up on the roof there. Yeah, I'm definitely, I'm going to need the, the heavy to run over there and jump up on top of the tower so we can get the tower mission requirement. Oh man, it's just so close. Shall I risk it? I'm going to risk it right there. Oh man, did not knock him through the floor as I hoped. I'm going to use some of my willpower. And uh a little further this way. So he can actually see targets from where he is. Might as well go for it. Yes! Got him off the roof. Wasted a grenade on him, but ultimately we got him. Is there any other targets we can reasonably hit from here? Oh, man. Oh, wait! There we go! I'm a big alien spider queen beastie and I've got boobs. You just That's how you know that it's female. Spider queen. Otherwise, if it was a spider king, it would have pectorals. Right? I mean, technically both have pectorals. But yeah. Look, there's science going on here. And that thing has a lot of hit points and a lot of armor. Oh no, it's coming up! Deploying shield, okay. Uh, you know what I'm gonna do?
Now I'm gonna jet jump to here. Hopefully I'll have enough willpower to make that next jet jump over to the top of the tower. Meanwhile, this guy, he's sniper up. So he should be able to like target the thing. Oh, he can go for the headshot right here. Oh, come on, headshot right here. Nice! It's thinking very, very hard. You see, it's a queen. Monarchs have very hard time making decisions because they have to weigh all the different stuff. You know, that it's not... You think being the fun... Be, is fun being the king? You're good to be the king? Only goes so far until you have to start making those very important decisions. Okay. Hello! Oh, we got another alien coming in with a gun. Ouch! So we've got a response in there. So hopefully that will at least register that we've got the tower. So we got willpower for that, which is nice. Let's go down like soldiers. We have a grenade. Because we want to take this thing out. Okay, that's that one dealt with. And the question is, can I throw a grenade from there that could hit that thing? Let's try that. Grenade? Oh, look, I could drop a grenade right under her, her royal underbelly. Um, okay, uh, actually, that was the plan, but I totally flubbed it. So much for that. Chill out for the rest of the turn. Oh, 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 dear. We just made it angry when we did that, obviously. No! My, uh, thing's bleeding. But you, you have a missile. So you can launch a missile at my buddy. At this, the guy. Uh oh, wait a second. Before I launch a missile, let's move my people out of there. Okay, so now you can fire. Oh, good. Minus three armor, that can only be a good thing. Reloading, and I don't have enough things to do anything useful, but I'm ready for the next one. Actually, you know what we'll do is we'll just drop, toss another grenade at the target. Let's move to there. Let's see if I can toss a grenade right under his legs. It'd be better than nothing. Whoa! Okay, I guess that is getting torn up. My sniper is not going to be in a good way. No! Oh, excellent! Under pressure and responding like a pro. Let's try this. Shoot. Shoot the head. Three armor, fire the weapon. Excellent! Head is disabled. Nice! And you know what I can do, actually, since I'm pretty much stuck in a corner here, this guy has a special ability to let me continuously fire this pistol. I just need to find a suitable place where I will do damage. Now we can move a little further away. We can drop a grenade on it and that will maybe weaken its armor. That's the plan. And now Sniper Dude, yet yeah, still lost a bunch of armor. Yeah, let, let's hit it with the grenade launcher, the missile launcher. Let's do it. Oh man, just out of range. I could actually move right to there and then fire. That'll just get me a tiny bit closer to the target. Come on! Uh-oh! 
Excellent minus eight armor. Toss that grenade and just out of range. Okay, never mind. Switch over to gun. We can shoot. Shoot it in the butt. Yes! <laughs> now we're actually doing something serious here. Yeah, this guy now, I, I feel we just got to go for it because he's like totally stuck in the corner, right? So we hit the thorax like a bunch of times. Gunslinger. Three damage. Just using all my willpower to do this. He's in a corner and he's got a gun. Uh oh. And that's it, no more points. Oh, it's bleeding, seriously. Oh, my sniper is panicking. What do you mean you're such a badass in the corner there? Let's just fire it. Excellent! Use the medkit on myself, use the green goo. Woo! And I can't really move out of range. But I can use the pistol because I still have willpower. Because I got willpower back. Should I go for the th uh, let's go for the abdomen, it's like right there. Or the thorax is the thing that you need to kill to break it, right? Ha! My heavy is so far unassailed. Let's shoot first. Hit that abdomen. Ah! <laughs> Excellent. I'm presuming that's good. You did it. You did it. I'm proud of you for remaining loyal to the principles of New Jericho and helping us secure Project Hecate. And so that is the current state of Phoenix Point. We're hoping to see more development on it during this year. I'm personally very excited because I think Julian Gollop has a great pedigree behind him. I mean, he basically invented the genre. So yeah, look out for Phoenix Point. I'm Scott Manley. Fly safe. Mm -hmm.